All right. Okay. Um, yo, salute to tomorrow party next door. Yeah. Salute to my boy party next door. Um, back outside doing some shows. You know what I mean? I see him tweeting at, at Blue. Um, I am a huge supporter of him. I pray for him and, and, and I want to see him win. You know, I know people going to have all type of jokes in this and third. You know, party next door is a human being just like most people are. You know what I mean? Um, well, I say most people. Everybody is. You know, um, shit. People, people, people get at me about weight and shit like that and I think party next door go th go, goes through things. And I don't think it's a, necessarily about weight. I think his weight fluctuates with certain circumstances in his life. And whether that might be addiction or it might be mental health, I could see that that's an issue for him. And for me, he's a, an amazing musician, whether he's fat, skinny, short, tall, whatever it is. And, yeah, you know, I'm not going to tell you. I'll be like, yo, stop cracking jokes because that's just part of life. But... I know after a joke or two, I could get past it, and I'm like, yo, this nigga's a phenomenal musician. And also, like, I look at shit like this where, you know, I, I know, like, I don't sit here and, and y'all probably don't, like, give me credit for, like, my my, my mental, you know, um, fortitude because I get clowned about a lot of stuff all the time, and I don't duck down the corner and don't show up outside or whatever. I do what I got to do. If you got to say what you got to say, it is what it is. I'm um, Not everybody's like me. You know what I mean? Like, from what I've heard, like, party next door when he's not feeling or if he's not feeling um it, it depends on how he's feeling mentally if he wants to be seen so he's always working but you know some people are, are very self-conscious too look at rob kardashian rob kardashian really went in a hole after a lot of bullying about like his weight this and third so you know again um, maybe I see the other side of it just because, you know, even though I feel like I'm fortunate where, um, you know, I deal with a lot of what people say about me, whether it's good or bad. Um, I know not everybody else could deal with it. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I really love party next door's music. Like, I, like really love his music. And I wish I could get more of it. And I feel like me as a fan, I want to pick him up to get more music rather than be like, oh, okay. Because here's the thing. He's one of them dudes we've seen. By the way, if you don't know, he was fat before he got, like, I don't want to look up old pictures and shit like that, but, like, he was fat before y'all knew of him as Party Next Door when y'all heard Recognize and shit like that. Like, he was fat way before then, and then he got skinny, and then, you know what I mean, he lost even more weight later on, and then, you know, he went through some fluctuations, and this is where he's at right now. So, like, fuck it, bro. Like, you know, for me, you know, I, I've heard things about him just um like personal life wise where people have just tried to get him out of certain ruts and just try to you know have interventions with him to make sure that he's good you know mentally because here's the thing this guy's loaded with money bro loaded with cash he's written some of the favorite joints for your favorite rappers singers he wrote work you know what i mean he's worked on so many great drake albums drake also treats him very fairly by you know giving him his publishing and, and treating him right in that regards so he's loaded with money. He doesn't need to make music. But we all do know with without without that mental fortitude and that mental, you know, if you don't feel good about yourself or whatever, no matter how much money you have, um, it won't cure that, right? So he could have all, everything he, he desires materialistically, but that might just go into him saying, you know what, I'm going to just hide from the world. Like, they don't got to see me. And um, I just want to send my prayers to him. You feel me? I want to send my prayers to him. So, you know, um, party next door. I've never met you. I definitely want to kick it with you. I would love to kind of come to a studio session, just kind of drown out in it. And by the way, I applaud you, and I love the fact that you're outside. Um, I hope comments and other things that, you know, dealing with fans and being a person that is popular don't get you to try to regress. Because here's the thing. He don't need to be out, be out. You know what I mean? Like the nigga, as I said, he's filthy fucking rich. It's just that this is a lot of stuff he probably he's dealing with. All right, salute the party next. So I love you, brother.
<laughs> yo, chat, y'all the worst. In the yo, chat, you ever think about my mental health? <clears throat> you ever think about, like, yo, yo, act. Yo, we crack one too many jokes on you. You not finna pop back out to a stream. Like, y'all just crack a joke on me and not even think about that type of shit. I, I mean, I'm, I'm good, but, you know, shit. Like, we can't, don't treat everybody like me. You know what I mean? And, and also, here's another thing, too. That's why I empathize with it. I know part of the reason y'all even get at me like that is because I'm a dude. And us men, we were able to handle it. Like, yo, y'all don't talk about Lizzo like this. Y'all know that's true. If y'all talk about Lizzo like this, you're getting canceled or banned on social media. That's just a fact. But as a man, like, you know, um, there isn't no sympathy really for men. So I know, like, fortunately, I'm able to deal with it now. But I know when other men get, get like, you know, um, kind of attacked with that, I don't know if they're equipped for it. Shit. I'm, I I had to be equipped for it because I talk too much shit. You know what I mean? I remember way back in the day, Sean May told me, nigga, shit, I think that's what part of the reason he kind of, like, lightening the skin and all that. Well, not lightening the skin, but, like, you know, he was even out the, the, the patches and shit. But I remember he said, yo, act, you know when you talk a lot of shit, people are going to talk a lot of shit about you and and shit. They're going to look at something. And if it's your weight, it's going to be your weight. And I had to accept that shit early. That's just what it is. You feel me? So if you talk a lot of shit, they're going to talk a lot of shit back. You know what I mean? For me, I just look at it like, nigga, just talk more shit. <laughs> you feel me? So, again, I know I, I feel like I've been able to be good with dealing with it, but I know not everybody else. So salute to party next door. Love you, brother. Um, I send my well wishes. And also, every time I tweet about your music or me missing your music, is that some genuine shit because I really like your shit. All right.